Hi everyone, so I am back with my um, cash stuffing envelope video. This is for my July um, period. So I've changed things up a little bit. So I'm going to go through and just show you what I have changed up. I'm just going to pop this money to one side for the moment. But you can see I have changed books. If you followed my previous videos, I used to just use a notebook. Now I kind of use this little bullet journal. Um, this was just from Aldi, I think it was. Um, and basically I'm just kind of trying out new things in planners and stuff. I just printed some things from Google and then stuck them into here. Um, and then I used some little washi tape and stuff just to kind of decorate it a little bit and set it out a little bit more. Um, and then obviously I have a page for sink and funds here and then a transaction log and then I also did like a no spend page. Um, I was just trying this out for this month, probably like next month will be when it kind of like all comes together type thing, yeah. So anyway, so for this month, I have £1,090 to stuff into my envelopes and sinking funds. Um, basically, I got a, um, a refund from my flight company. Obviously, my holiday was cancelled, so I did get a refund from that. Um, and then obviously, like, I did some like side hustles and stuff just to make some extra money whilst I was out of work Um, obviously with coronavirus I am back to work now thank god it seems like I've been off for the longest time but anyway so we have £1,090 here so obviously these are my variable expenses which you will see if you have watched my other videos and things I'll just bring this in a little bit closer so I'm going to start stuffing these envelopes first so gas and electric now if you've watched my previous videos gas and electric usually got 40 but I have used a little bit extra this time and um, we've had a couple of like really really cold days so I'm going to up that by 20 pounds I'm going to put 60 pounds into this whereas I normally put um 40 so hang on a second i'm just going to let's just pop those to one side for the moment we shall pop i've only got 20s and 10s this this month let's have a look God, i feel like i've not got enough room come on <laughs> okay so gas and electric gets 60 do we have anything left in we have nothing left in because obviously we did overspend on that so i'm going to put three 20s in so 20 40 60 so that will go in there so that is that one done next up we have petrol which is also going to get 60 pound nothing in there so again i'm just going to use 20s for this so 20 40 60 and we shall pop that into there. Next up, we have school. Now, I haven't filled this one for the last couple of months, obviously, because the children have been off school. It is now the six weeks holidays here in England, but I am going to start this this month because obviously I just want to be ahead of the game for when he goes back. Um, so I am going to, it, it costs me £60 a month to send my son to school. Um, so by the time September comes, I want the money to be in there ready. So, yeah, I'm going to stuff this for £60. And again, it is just going to get three 20s. So, 20, 40, 60. They've got loads of 20s this time. So, all that is in there. I always feel like I want to be ahead on things. So, that is why I have done that now. What else do we have? Then we have groceries. Groceries always gets £100. So again, I'm just going to do 20s. So 20, 40, 60, 80, 100. don't think we've got anything left from groceries. No, nothing left from groceries at all. So we have stuffed that with 100. Then we have social. Do we have anything left in here? Oh, we have £10. So I'm going to take the £10 out because you guys know that whatever's left in these envelopes at the end of the month, I take it out and I pop it into my little savings jar. So social gets £40. Again, I'm just going to use these 20s up. So 20 40 Um, So 20 40 60 
and then we have self-care which also gets 40 pounds so again just another two 20s pop that into the self-care one we have nothing left in self-care so pop those two um 20 pound notes in there so that's 40 pound in there and then i have added a new envelope and this is household um i've got the envelope here obviously i still need to label it i haven't popped a label on yet but this is going to be my household envelope and i'm going to put 20 pound in there and basically i did this one for if i need any um cleaning products or if i want to buy something for the house just stuff like that or if i want to buy something for the garden or anything because i found that i was taken out of um like groceries social and self-care if i wanted anything for the house so i thought you know what let's just make a household envelope um so that is something new this month i've not had that before i do still need to label it but yeah that got 20 pound so basically we have stuffed all of our variable expenses which is like these are kind of like the ones that we use all the time um so gas and electric petrol school groceries social self-care and obviously household now so all of those are stuffed so then just flip this page over then we are going to be going to sinking funds so this is my sinking funds chart here um so yeah i just have the category here i have the beginning balance how much i deposit how much i withdraw and the end balance and again transaction log this is going to be like for anything that i take out of sinking funds i can keep track of it down here i feel like i want to keep more track of my money um i did already write the beginning balances down in here but I know that I've definitely dipped into the kids fund so that one might not be right so let's just have a look so kids fund <laughs> yeah there's nothing left in the kids fund at all they have both had new clothes they've both had toys and they have had their hairs done so that has all gone so I need to change that and the beginning balance on that is actually zero so I've just kind of changed that there so um yeah so let's see how much money we have left so 20 40 60 81 20 40 60 82 20 40 60 83 20 40 60 84 20 40 60 85 20 40 60 86 6 20 so we've got £710 left, which I am going to stuff between my sink and fund envelopes. Um, so kids fund, I think I'm actually going to put £100 into the kids fund. 20, 40, 60, 80, 100. Obviously, they will be back at school in September, so I will need to buy uniforms and bags and shoes and things like that. So I'm going to make a good start on that one already. Um, so we have £100 into the Kids Fund. So I'm just going to get my pen and obviously go to Kids Fund here. And we have deposited £100. So I'll just mark that down. Um, so that's that one. Then we have Holiday. Now holiday i did have money in here which i was saving for spending money for holiday but then i transferred it to savings because obviously my holiday was cancelled now i have getting flight money back um i got 270 pound back so i could put the 270 pound straight into holiday but to be honest i'm not going to have a holiday this year and i'm very doubtful that i'm going to have a holiday next year so i'm not going to put anything in that so i'm just going to pop that to one side and again i'm just gonna like put on the deposit that we deposited zero just so i can keep track of where i am now birthdays and seasonal had 60 pound in does it still have 60 pound in let's have a look 20 40 50 60 it does still have 60 pound in um and i do have a couple of birthdays coming up next month so i am going to put I'm going to put another 50, so 20, 40, 50. So we have deposited 50 pound 
into there so that means we have 110 all together let me just check that 20, 40, 60, 80, 90, 100, 110, yeah. So that is a good amount for the birthdays and seasonal fund. Then we have a car maintenance. Now my car is literally the bane of my life. If you watch my videos, you'll know that it recently failed its MOT and I had to get loads of work done on it. Um, now I'm sure I've got a puncture in my tyre and my electric window doesn't work in the front so how much do we have in here we have 50 pound in here already which you can see we did mark that down so i am going to i'm going to actually put 100 pound in here 20 40 60 80 100 so we have 150 in there all together which Guys, honestly, it is so important to keep an envelope for your car because you just never know when things are going to go wrong with it. Um, so, yeah, we put... Oh, my God, how much did I put in there? So, there was already 50 in. Let's have a look. Oh, I've just deposited 100. Yeah, God, I totally lost my mind there. So, we deposited 100. So we shall pop that in there and probably over the next couple of months this will be empty because like I say I need things done. So then this leaves, let's have a look, 20, 40, 60, 81, 20, 40, 60, 82, 20, 40, 60, 83, 390, 400, 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60. This leaves £460. Pound. Now, if you guys remember in my last video, I told you that I did buy a new phone and I got it on the pay monthly thing. I just paid so much off and then I paid the pay monthly. But um, basically, I have enough here now to pay it off. Um, and this was kind of like side hustle money anyway. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to take £300 out of here because that's how much is left to pay off the phone. So 20, 40, 60, 81, 20, 40, 60, 82, 20, 40, 60, 83. Yeah, actually, I think it might be 319. So we'll do 320. So this £320 here is going to pay my phone straight off and then I don't have to worry about that um monthly amount coming out all the time and I'd rather just pay it off I've got it there anyway um and then I have 20 40 60 70 80 90 100 110 20 30 40 then I have 140 pound left which is going to go straight into my savings envelope so down here I'm going to deposit 140 40. I shall write that down there. Five, six, six, four, and six, four. So all together in here should be 650. Well, let me have a look. Let me just organize this. So 20, 40, 60, 81, 20, 40, 60, 82, 20, 40, 60, 83, 20, 40, 60, 84, 20, 40, 60, 85, 20, 40, 60, 70, 80, 90, 6, 610, 620, 630, 640, 650. That's right. So I have £650 saved into my savings envelope. I am probably going to deposit this soon because it is getting a little bit fat. Um, so yes, brilliant. So that is all of my envelopes stuffed for this month. Like I say, this £320 here, I am going to deposit this back into my bank account and just pay my um, Apple phone straight off. Um, and then obviously it's done. I know last time I did have the money there, but I just decided that I kind of wanted to hang on to that savings a little bit and just pay monthly for my thing. I can afford it monthly anyway, but there's no point. If you've got the money there, pay the bill off. 
Um, so yeah, I'm going to pay the total amount of my phone off and then that's done and dusted. I don't have to worry about anything else. Um, so yeah, that is my finances done for this month. I did have £10 left over for my envelopes, which will go into my savings tub. Um, so yes, like I say, obviously I hope you guys like the way I've kind of set up my things. Um, he's like a closer look if you guys want to do anything like this for your own budget. It's just kind of like a little chart here for my sinking funds. Um, I only have like five sinking funds at the moment, but obviously as you get on with um, like becoming more accustomed to this system, you can add more sinking funds as you go. And then I just did a little transaction log because, well, I haven't done anything for this month, but probably from next month, I'm going to kind of write in every time I dip into these. Like Kids Fund, I could have put like um, haircuts, clothes, toys, do you know what I mean? Just to keep track of where it's actually gone. And again, the expense tracker, this is for my weekly envelope. So I'll put like um, gas and electric and I'll put how much I put on and things like that. Um, and then obviously like social, self-care, household and things like that. Just to keep a track of exactly what I'm spending things on. And just, you know, just the July one. Obviously these these come out the bank here. Um, and then these are like my cash envelope type things. And I just left a little section here for notes just in case I wanted to write anything down about it. Um, but I am actually liking this book so much better than the note book. And I just kind of wanted to jazz it up a little bit. I see everybody with these Erin Condren and Happy Planners. I would absolutely love a Happy Planner. They look amazing. And I love how you can just pull the sheets out of it without kind of ripping them. Um, but like I say, I had this one in the house and I thought, well, let's just use it. Um, and I just bought some like little washi tapes and things from Amazon just to jazz it up a little bit. And I think it turned out quite good, actually. So, yes, enough of the babbling on. I am going to let you all go. If you have any questions or comments about these budgeting videos or if you want help starting up or anything, just comment below and I will get back to you all as soon as possible. And yes, thank you so, so much for watching, everybody. It means the world to me. If you could please um, like, subscribe and please guys hit the notification bell because i am getting a few messages off some of you to say that you don't get notifications that i have posted a video and um, but if you hit that notification bell it will inform you straight away so you never ever miss a video and obviously it helps my channel out a lot and yeah so thank you guys so much for watching and i will see you all in the next video bye